What is up guys? Welcome back for another live in the OU tier today. Uh, we're using a team that I found on the forums. Uh, we're going to be trying it out. I'm not sure if it's that great or not. I used it only one game. I lost to Scarf Faramosa that was attack boosting uh, for some reason. But anyway, uh, <laughs> regardless of that, uh, still a pretty sick team. It's a nice rain team with Z-Belly Jump Polyrath, so we get to try that out for once. Uh, it's got a little Marowak for rocks. Uh, Top of Bulu really supports the team. It's really good. Uh, so yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty much the team. Not much to explain. Mega Scizor works well in rain, of course. Uh, I wish it was Swords Dance, but it's not. It's uh, it's a bulky set, but it's okay. So that's, uh, like I said, that's the team. And uh, we're not using the thumbnail for the Genesec Suspect Test, even though we are still in the Suspect Test ladder, uh, because it's still active. Uh, I still wanted to use uh, the thumbnail uh, for regular lives, because that's pretty much what this is. I'm also just going to change my name real quick because uh, I am not on the right account and yep you can't see my password that's good <laughs> let's you see how many uh, how many characters it is but it doesn't matter uh, so yeah this is um, this is a team let's let's try it out I'm just uh, recording a, a chill live I've been very very busy guys uh, to be perfectly honest with you I have a lot of prep uh, going into the NPL miners uh, I've been testing out with jar a lot. Uh, for each other's matchups, even though we're in the same division, we actually have to play each other, which is really, really annoying. But um, I mean, it's fun. It, regardless, it's fun. Uh, I get to play Jar again. I haven't played him since we missed that Leaf Storm with Venusaur. I'm never gonna forget that game. But uh, yeah, uh, let's get into this live. Uh, enough talking about my busy life. I'm also making a really, uh, really important video, by the way. If you're wondering, uh, you guys are eventually gonna see that, but I have to wait for the uh, the results, basically. Anyway, uh, my opponent is extremely weak to uh, Marowak, from what I can see. Uh, Magirna is walled, uh, for the most part, outside of Shadow Ball. Uh, Scizor does not like taking Marowak's hits, neither does Breloom. Uh, Tapu Koko can't really do anything to it, so just gotta watch out for Landorus and uh, Greninja, and we should be fine in theory. Uh, I'm actually going to lead off here with... Um, I don't want to lead with Marowak, because I feel like the Landorus lead is a little bit obvious. Uh, I'm actually going to lead off with Tapu Bulu here. He's going to lead off with Berloom, which works out fine, because um, Berloom, once again, can't really do anything to me. Fighting grass, it can't spore me. Uh, I really can't do anything, for that matter. Uh, let's just go for the Woodhammer. Let's see how much it does to Scizor. Uh, actually, he's going to go out into Lando. I think this is going to die. Uh, it almost died. <laughs> almost. Uh, he's also Rocky Helmet, so keep that in mind. Uh, and I think I just kill this. <laughs> Honestly, because getting rid of this means that Marowak has a lot more fun. I just need to get rid of the Greninja after. Uh, if he wants to switch into a Scizor, that's fine with me. Uh, I'm not going to take as much recoil this time as well. So that's nice. Um, I just don't want him to get up rocks. So if I can attack this thing, get rid of it. And if he doesn't get up rocks, then that's amazing for me. Uh, Kingdra can definitely put in a lot of work. I'm going to take a little more Rocky Helmet, which is uh, a little bit sad, but it's fine. We should be okay. Uh, Tapu Bulu is still healthy enough to switch in. I think on Breloom, so, and we can heal it up with Horn Leech too, so that's good. He's going to bring in Scizor, uh, I'm not a huge fan of Scizor, we are physically defensive Pelipper though, so I'm going to go out into that, set up my rain, this is going to be nice, he's going to Mega Evolve and go for the U-turn, I'm not too concerned, he does have a, uh, he's going to go into Breloom actually, which is interesting, uh, I could see a uh, Rock Tomb coming my way, I'm going to go out into Scizor because we are bulky. As he does go for the Rock Tomb, uh, that looks like not Life Orb damage. No, it's not. Okay. Uh, we're going to go for the... Okay, he's... Uh, I missed the Mega Evolution button. It didn't matter, but uh, now we are going to go for the U-turn here. I'm going to Mega Evolve. He's going to go for the Mach Punch. It's not going to do too much. We are going to wake up, and we are going to get this huge U-turn off. That's really, really nice. And uh, now I can bring back in my Tapu Bulu if I choose. Uh, he also looks to be... Uh, he's probably Jolly, actually. From the looks of it let's go into i like marowak here because again this thing can't really touch me well top of blue prevents the spore which is really what i want to do i want to get back up the grassy terrain as well i am giving him recovery in the process but it's fine and i'm gonna go for the superpower here because it hits uh scissor the hardest and if scissor wants to keep u-turning it's gonna have to keep taking superpowers as well so this is gonna do a good amount of damage clean 41 percent very nice and uh once again I think I just go out into Marowak here. Um, yeah, I'm going to go out into Marowak. He's probably going to bring in his Greninja as a result off of the U-turn, but I take the least amount of damage from his U-turn uh, with Marowak, so that's nice. As he does bring in Greninja, I don't have a great switch into this now that I'm looking at it, but Kingdra does do pretty well. 
uh, against it. Let's see what he goes for. He goes for the Hydro Pump. Misses, unfortunately. That is quad resisted, though, so I wasn't too worried about it. Uh, and we're going to go for the Surf here because I can see Magirna coming in. Uh, and I want to get off damage on that thing. Uh, obviously, like, Draco is, is kind of obvious here, so that's why I don't, I don't want to go for it. Uh, Surf is definitely the better play. It's also going to hit Greninja pretty damn hard. So, that's nice. Uh, if I get up a Belly Drum, I win. I'm pretty sure. Uh, he's going to go Magirna. He's going to have to take a Surf. Uh, and we're going to crit him, actually. That's very unfortunate for my opponent. Uh, and I don't know if this kills, though. Hold on. Let me calc this up here in my head. Um, crit did 81. It would have normally done about 55. Uh, 55 without the rain means that I'm doing about 40. Yeah, I'm going to go for another Surf. It does kill. There we go. Okay, cool. So, King is still alive. Magirna is gone. Uh, he could go into Breloom again, but uh, I'm not too concerned with that. We do have our Scizor. And uh, my opponent forfeits, so we're going to take that one. And uh, let's move on to the next game. Let's see how many of these we can get. Uh, I I'm still pretty high up on the ladder, I believe, uh, in this suspect test. Let's see. Control F, Aster. Where am I? Oops. Uh, I'm still 95th on the ladder, so that's not too bad, actually. That's not bad at all. Uh, just this. Oh, it's so sad. <laughs> it's okay. Uh, I played this guy, uh, I believe. Was it Was it this guy? With the Scarf Feramosa? I think it was. Uh, and we, okay, anyway, uh, doesn't matter. I'm going to lead off with, uh, Pelipper regardless, as he chooses to lead off with Garchomp again. That's, that was his same play last time. And Scald is just always my play. He goes for Stealth Rocks, that's fine. We're gonna go for, uh, Scald. We do not get the burn, unfortunately. He does have Outrage. I'm gonna go for Roost, actually, predicting his Outrage. Uh, cause I, I know the team. So, hopefully that's what he does. Uh, also, his um, Magnazone is Assault Vest. It took a Spec Surf. Okay, he goes for Swords Dance. Uh, not sure exactly why. I do have a Tapu Bulu to switch into his Outrage, so this is no problem whatsoever. He does just go for the Outrage. Yep, there it is. And now I can just go for the Horn Leech. Nothing is going to want to take this. Uh, I already know that uh, Tapu Lele dies uh, from a Banded Hor Horn Leech, uh, even outside of Grassy Terrain. So. That's, how, that's just to show you how strong this thing is. Also, I just weakened his Earthquake, so it's going to be doing absolutely nothing to me. Uh, and unless he has Poison Jab, that's like the only way he kills me, so... Um, he does not have a good switch into this. Also, Pelipper took no damage, which is fantastic. I would like to get a Defog off at some point with Scizor, but it's hard while his Magnazone is there. However, his Magnazone is Assault Vest. It has no bulk investment whatsoever. He's actually going to bring in his Metagross, which is great, because uh, that's going to take a huge hit. And we can just go straight out into Scizor on this. Uh, like I said before, I'm not scared of his Magnazone at, at all. Because while we're in the rain, we take its hits just fine. Uh, we're going to go for the Defog here. Uh, if he brings in Mag, again, like I said, not too worried about it. HP Fire will not kill me in the rain. Uh, I might even just go for a Roost because his Thunderbolt did 30 to me, guys. It did 30. And <laughs> that's a Thunderbolt. So uh, HP Fire in the rain will do about the same amount. Uh, if not just a little bit less, maybe, uh, just a little bit more, excuse me, maybe up about 40, so I'm really not worried about Magnazone coming in here. I can, I can say it a, bu a bunch of times, but I'm really not worried about Magnazone coming in. I know the team, so, uh, he's gonna go for another mash, uh, I'm gonna go for a Defog here, we're gonna get rid of his rocks, and then we are gonna go for a U-turn, I'm getting right out of here. As he goes into Magnazone, makes the obvious play, and, uh, I'm going out into Marowak, and we are getting up our rocks, friends. And uh, that's going to limit his switchings a lot. Also, I do want to keep this thing alive because his Scarf Feramosa boosts its attack as it goes along. Uh, and that's really, really scary uh, because I don't have anything faster than it. So, I am just going to get up my rocks right here. Uh, his rocker is Garchomp anyway, so I'm, I'm not... Uh, this is a Swords Dance Rock Polish variant. Uh, so, I'm actually just going to uh, go out into Pelipper, uh, get up the rain as he goes for a Swords Dance, and now he's going to go for the Supersonic Sky Strike. I'm almost 100% sure of it, uh, so I'm going to switch out here, and I think I'm going to sack off Scizor. I have no need for it anymore. He could get back up rocks, but I'm much more concerned with this thing in front of me, uh, so I'm just going to go out into Sizz here, and he's going to go for the Supersonic Sky Strike. We are just going to sack off Scizor, and nothing on his team outside of his AV uh, Magnazone wants to take a uh, Surf, so something is dead here, no matter what. Something is going to die. And it's going to be his Rock Setter, so that's fantastic. That means we can switch in Pelipper as many times as we want. In comes Feramosa. I am not allowing this thing to uh, get a kill, ever. Uh, so I think Marowak is my... Actually, I think just Surf is my play. He's not going to click High Jump Kick. There's no way. Um, if 
he does, then what do I do? Then I go top of Gulu and I get another kill, right? With Woodhammer. Um, I'm going to go to Marowak. I'm going to play it safe. As he's going to go for the U-turn. That's fine. That does absolutely nothing to us. And with Rocks up now, last game, which was the test game that I had against him, um, the uh, the Rocks weren't up. So it was a lot more difficult to play around with his team. Uh, now with Rocks up, I, I should have no trouble whatsoever. Uh, and he used up his Supersonic Sky Strike, so I can switch in my Kingdra on his Lando, knowing that it won't do too much to me. Uh, and I can even switch in Bulu, re realistically. Uh, and then he's forced to fly, and then I switch into Kingdra. Uh, he comes back down, eventually. <laughs> I don't know. The series of plays, we'll get to that, we'll get to that. But he has to pick something to switch in here. Nothing really wants to deal with Marowak too much. Uh, except for his Tapu Lele. However, uh, I do have a lot of SPDF investment. I might be able to take... Uh, let's actually bring that up here. Uh, see if... Let me move this over for you guys. Let's see. I know my, my webcam's up here somewhere. Um, actually, it might not even be hiding anything. It's kind of nice. Uh, let's see... Tapu Lele... Versus... Uh, Marowak, Marowak, uh, with quite a bit of bulk investment. He's gonna go out into Lando, actually. Okay, this is fine. Uh, I can just go on into Pelipper on this, realistically. Uh, what's he gonna do? He's gonna set up a Swords Dance. My rain is still up. No, he's gonna attack me. There's no way he can set up a Swords Dance. Yeah, he's gonna go for Earthquake. There we go. Beautiful. And, uh, now we are actually going to pull a little bit of a switch here. Uh, I want to catch what? What do I want to catch? The Magnazone, right? So I'm going to be a little bit risky here, and I'm going to go out into Marowak. Now, if he Swords Dances, that could be bad, but our rain is still up. So uh, I can always switch in top of Bulu. Again, that forces him to go for Fly. So that's good. He's going to go for Fly on this turn. Uh, it's going to hurt. I'm not. I'm. I'm very confident that it's going to hurt. Uh, however, he's going to have to take a Shadow Bone as a result. Uh, or even a... No, Shadow Bone's the better play. He's going to go for Fly. Uh, so he's going to get a crit, unfortunately, so that's really annoying. Uh, and I do need to keep this thing alive, uh, so I need to switch back into... Now I'm going to go out into Tapu Bulu, as he's going to not probably go... Okay, he does go for another Fly, that's fine. Um, now what's my switch in? Pelipper? Pelipper is my switch in every time, because I can Roost on him. And fly is the only thing he can hit me with. Uh, that's going to do absolutely nothing. And I am just going to go for the roost right here. He's forced to fly again. Uh, or he can switch out. It's it's either or. It doesn't really matter to me. But uh, if he locks himself into a bug move with uh, Faramosa, for example, lunge, then he won't beat me. So I'm okay with that. And yeah, I just need to, uh, I just need to get Kingdra in on rain again. He's going to go for fly. I'm going to go for roost. Uh, and he's going to hit me with a fly, and I'm going to go for a Scald and knock this thing out. He's not going to get a crit this time, luckily. And we are going to knock out his Landorus with a Scald. That's fantastic. Now, Tapu Lele coming in is extremely scary, and I have to pick... Uh, how much damage does his Metagross take? Okay, he's in range of Surf. Um, I have to pick what I want to sack to his Tapu Lele. And I'm really feeling like it has to be Polyrath. Um, because I, I can't sack Marowak as long as the, uh, the Pheromosa's around, because High Jump Kick's gonna hurt Bulu like crazy. So, I think Polyrath is indeed my sack here. And then I, I need to know if Kingdra, we never figured this calc out, but this one doesn't matter anymore. We need to figure out if, uh, Rain Sweeper Kingdra with, uh, Choice Specs, uh, knocks out in the rain, uh, Lele with a Surf, it does after rocks, that's fantastic, that's great to know. Uh, also if he's Choice Scarf, that's fine. Uh, I think yes, Polyrath is definitely my sack, as he does go for the Psy Shock, knocks me out, okay. And, uh, now I can go into Kingdra, and we can go for the Surf. Uh, his Magnazone will be able to, I think it might be able to take two guys, I'm not 100% sure on this, but I think it can take two. I'm keeping my Marowak so that I don't get High Jump Kick swept by his Scarf Faramosa. Having knowledge on his team is extremely important in this game. Um, and as long as my rain is up, I should be good. I think I also outspeed any Scarf variant of this, so that's good. Uh, the only thing is Scarf Faramosa. And his, his Scarf Faramosa is EV'd very strangely. 
He's actually going to go out into his Magna Zone, which should get two-hit KO'd. As it does, as you can see, it can take a Surf in the Rain from a Specs Kingdra, so it's obviously Assault Vest. Uh, we're going to go for another Surf and knock this thing out. He's forced into his Feramosa at this point. Uh, I have no problem going into my uh, Tapu Bulu, I think. Nah, he's not. He's never going to click High Jump Kick while Marowak's around, so I'm going to go for Surf. He's going to go for U-Turn. It's going to do a lot, but something dies here, so we're fine. Uh, as long as something's dead. <laughs> And it's going to be the Metagross. Fantastic. That's going to drop. And uh, Rain's still up. He's going to go into Feramosa. U-Turn does kill now. Uh, however, I do have a Pelipper. So I'm going to... Actually, I think Bulu's the better play. Um, is it? How much do I take? Uh, I'm probably... Sorry, my leg was going off like crazy. Uh, I'm... <laughs> I got to count how much High Jump Kick at plus one from Feramosa does to... Uh, does to my Tapu Bulu at plus one Tapu Bulu uh why okay there's no moves here uh <laughs> I jump kick at plus one does 52 to 61 so that's absolutely nothing which means if I keep Bulu I should be fine so I think I can let Marowak drop here uh also if he goes for the u-turn that means that um he's out of here so that's great uh, that also means that I can get up my rain now with Pelipper. He can kill me with anything that he wants. Uh, I am just going to go for the Hurricane here because it also hits the Feramosa. Actually, Scald is probably the better play. Um, hmm. Actually, I think U-Turn. U-Turn is the best play. He's going to go for Psy Shock. That's fantastic. So that means that now I can go into Kingdra. I can go for the Surf. We are going to knock out the Tapu Lele. And then what we will do is we will switch out into Pelipper on whatever attack he goes for. Uh, I think I live a, a plus one lunge as well. He's going to go for Poison Jab. Okay, that's that's bad. He does have Poison Jab. Yep, that's GG. All right, well, I guess uh, that's that's bad. <laughs> that's terrible. <laughs> yeah, uh, and he can't miss that. So uh, there was nothing I could do. The Scarf Feramosa is so annoying. This is why I think this thing is re like really bannable. Uh, just for like situations like this where you can't do anything and it's it's attack is going it's basically moxie boost but coming off of an insane speed stat so that's one and one uh, we are 17 minutes in we'll get one more and we'll leave it at that honestly uh, I think that'll be good and I just wanted to put out a live for you guys uh, just to make sure that I was still uploading content I still want to remain consistent uh, while also tending to my obligations such as the NPL miners uh, such as uh, that important video that I was talking about uh, big shout out by the way um, I will be linking uh, Donaki in the description down below Dan he's been helping me out a lot we've been helping each other really I've been helping him out with prep for the NPL miners and he's been he helping me out with this huge video that's coming out uh, in a, a while from now but uh, it's it's pretty important it's pretty big so uh, big shout outs to him check him out in the description down below he's got a, uh, a few more subs than us actually I think he's got, like at 700 he's a really cool guy does some uh, shiny hunting on um, it's not a drive by the way if you're wondering uh, it's just Dan um, he uh, he does some shiny hunting he streams it uh, he's got some pretty cool videos so check him out guys anyway uh, we got smash is cooler uh, I agree smash is cooler than Pokemon no that I, I don't agree with that I'm sorry uh, it's a cool game but uh, Pokemon is just uh, it's so fun why why am I going off about Pokemon okay let's let's focus on the game guys um, I need to find a way to get rid of Toxapex and that's gonna be tough I can definitely see Polyrath sweeping my opponent. I just need like about 30% off on his Rotom and his Toxapex to be gone, essentially. So I'm going to focus on getting rid of Toxapex. Let's start off by setting up Brain. I think that's fine. Um, actually, he has a Rotom and Rotom is annoying. I'm actually going to lead off with Tapu Bulu just because I really feel like he's going to lead off with Rotom Wash. Uh, which takes pretty much any hit from anything except for this. There we go, there's the Rotom. He's not going to want to take a hit, so I'm going to double out into my Pelipper now. Uh, he's not going to Volt Switch, uh, unless he's Scarfed. That's the only way he Volt Switches here. Which would still be a bad play, because, like, Bulu kills something otherwise. Uh, let's see if he stays in. No, he goes for the Volt Switch. Okay. Alright, so he's definitely Scarfed. Uh, we learned that about his Rotom. Uh... <laughs> Come on, man. Really? Scarf Rotom. And he goes for a Volt Switch on a Pokemon that can kill almost anything on his team except for Skarmory. Like, that was dangerous. Just just saying, guys. Like, 
don't don't volt switch with your rotoms on top of Bulu's. Just just make the switch out into the thing that walls it. Like just hard switch. You gain nothing from volt switching. I went into Pelipper. I lost my reign, so that's a little bit annoying. However, uh, he goes into Toxapex. Now, Toxapex, huh? All right. Well, I'm getting up rocks. I know Toxapex can hit me with a Scald, but it can't burn me. I can hit it with an EQ as well. So I'm gonna go for rocks here. Uh, we lost our rain, but I should be okay without rain. As long as I keep Scizor healthy. He's gonna go out into Rotom. He's gonna go for a Hydro Pump here. He's not gonna go for a Volt Switch. So I'm gonna switch out into Tapu Bulu. Now with the rocks up, uh, I'm gonna be putting a lot of pressure on his entire team with Bulu. So he's actually gonna go for a Trick and give me a Choice Scarf while he gets a Choice Band. Uh, choice Scarf Tapu Bulu? I actually don't mind that at all. <laughs> Let's see. Um... I'm going to go for a double here into Kingdra, uh, as I know that he won't stay in this time. If he actually stays in, that is an idiotic play, guys, because uh, this thing is the is literally the only thing stopping my Scizor from sweeping up his teammate. Maybe Toxapex, but Toxapex is a lot easier to deal with than this, so let's see. He's He's got to go into Skarmory. Come on, dude. You're not going to stay in here. There's no way. Okay, there we go. So, okay, he switches out into Tox Specs, which isn't bad, because this is still a free Choice Specs Draco Meteor coming off right here. So let's go for that. Um, I don't know if Tox can take this. Maybe, maybe. Yeah, I can definitely take it. Okay, that's fine. Does he go for the Recover? No, he goes for the Toxic Spikes. That's amazing. That's so good. Because uh, I could potentially knock him out with a Draco here, so I can't see him actually staying in. Um... Yeah, let's just go for another Draco. Okay, well he does, and he lives on one, uh, and goes for the recover. That's fantastic. That's that's what I, that's all I want in life is for Toxapex to live on one, uh, for my Draco Meteor. So he he almost just risked both of the Mons that wall my Scizor. Just so you guys know, um, I know Skarmory walls Scizor, guys. Don't get me wrong, but Skarmory does nothing to Scizor in return. So let's go for the U-turn here. He's probably just gonna recover, honestly. Uh, we, get, we get a crit right there. I'm gonna go out into Tapu Bulu. I don't mind getting uh, toxic because that means I can't get burned. He's gonna go for the Scald. That's fantastic. And uh, I'm not even thinking about it this time. He switched his Toxapex in on a Tapu Bulu, guys. Just so you know, that, like, I, I can't understand. I'm going for Woodhammer this time because I'm tired of it. And he goes into Skarmory. That's fine. Uh, this is still gonna do it. Okay, never mind. Uh, doesn't do anything, but uh, I can switch into Marowak on this pretty safely. He can go for rocks if he wants to, but like, I don't know. This guy just made plays that were completely unnecessary in my opinion, and it threw me off. So he, I guess he got me, but like, I can't understand his plays. He's going to go for a layer of spikes. That's fine. Uh, I'm just going to go for a an earthquake here. Actually, no. I'm going to go for a shadow bone here because he has too many switches to earthquake. Lando being one of them. Let's see if this thing is Rocky Helmet. Uh, it takes that very well, so it definitely is defensive. Um, right, we're Thick Club. He got off an Intimidate, but that shouldn't matter. I'm not attack invested, though, so maybe that's why. Um, hmm. I'm going out into Scizor. As, let's see what he does. He does just go for the Stealth Rocks. All right, well, your hazard stacking is done, my friend. I'm going for a Defog right here. He can set all all of his layers back up, but I really don't care. He's going to go out into Toxapex. My Stealth Rocker is still alive, so I can just go for a U-turn here. And uh, he's probably always going to recover on my Draco now. So there's that. Uh, I got to go out into Marowak here. Let's see what he goes for. Does just choose to go for the Skull. That's fine. Uh, we are just going to set up our rocks again uh, because I need them up, essentially. As he's gonna go for another Scald, uh, he's almost gonna take me out. Is this toxic? Yeah, it is toxic. Okay. Um, Top of Bulu is always my play, except now I'm going to double into Kingdra because I'm tired of his his plays, and this time he's definitely going into Skarm. No questions asked. As uh, now I'm gonna click Draco Meteor because now we definitely two hit KO the Toxapex, and Kingdra still puts on a, a ton of pressure on his team. By the way, guys, it still does a lot of work. I can still win this, just so you know. He is going to go Muck. Is it AV? It does look to be Assault Vested. Uh, he gains some recovery from my uh, from my grassy terrain. So one disadvantage to this. 
Uh, I'm gonna go out into... He's Choice Banded now, he's not Choice Scarfed anymore. Was he max speed? That's the question. I won't know that, though. He's gonna go for the Pursuit on my Kingdra, and he gets the Poison, of course. Um, which is annoying, but there's nothing I can do about that. I'm just gonna U-turn. Um, if I had Knock Off Swords Dance on this, this would be a, a good time. Good times. Uh, but I am just gonna U-turn here, there's nothing else I can do. And... I think, well, it depends. His Toxapex is Toxic Spikes, uh, Recover, Scald. Is Haze the last move is my question. It should be, right? That should be the, the, his entire team. We'll see, anyway. Um, he's going to go out into Skarmory as I go for the U-turn, which is great. Uh, we are just going to go out into Kingdra. I doubt he's going to let this die. So again, I'm just going to click Draco Meteor. Uh, it is Choice Specs anyway, and he seems to be Fizz Def, so it's going to do a lot. Uh, if he gets up a spike, I still have my Defogger. I don't have my uh, Stealth Rocker anymore, but it's okay. Uh, he's going to go for the Defog of his own and get rid of my rocks. Uh, that's fine, because now I'm going to pull out a switch into Tapu Bulu. I'm still trying, guys. I'm, I'm still going to try to win. Even though it looks bleak, uh, my opponent can still make misplays. He can still miss high jump kicks. Uh, anything can happen, so. In comes Tapu Wulu as he decides to go for a Brave Bird. Okay. Great play. Great play. Not at all, but great play. Uh, I do have Horn Leech. We are Choice Scarfed as well. Keep that in mind, guys. We are Choice Scarfed. So I could heal up on a lot of his stuff. Uh, and I think this is regular poison, if I'm not mistaken. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, it says Tox. It doesn't say P PSN, right? So it's just it's toxic poison. Uh, I came in on two layers earlier. Yeah. Okay. All right. So it's gonna be difficult to heal up, but uh, we should be able to manage. Now I do have free reign as to what move I click. So it, I think Muck is his only play in reality uh, because Muck is the only thing that traps this. But he chooses to go out into Toxapex. Okay. Uh, well, I'm gonna go for the Horn Leech, <clears throat> I believe, as that'll get me back some health. Uh, that does a, a respectable amount, 39. He's gonna go for Recover, uh, and I'm just gonna keep going for Horn Leech, uh, because I do gain enough for Recovery back uh, to mitigate the uh, the Toxic. He's gonna go for a layer of Toxic Spikes. Like, at this point, it doesn't matter. The only thing that it's affecting is Polyrath, so uh, I am gonna switch out here into Scizor. Because I do think that Polyrath can still sweep this game. It's got enough bulk to take a Volt Switch from Rotom. Uh, I am just going to go for the Defog here. He's probably just going to Scald. As that is exactly what he does. Yep. And now we're going to go for the U-Turn. And I'm going to go, I think, directly into Polyrath. I'm not 100% sure, though. Losing my Pelipper turn one was just so crucial. Because it meant that Kingdra couldn't outspeed. I mean, it didn't really matter, but... Um, but still, losing Pelipper was quite important. Let's go out into Tapu Bulu here, as my opponent is going to go for a Scald. Uh, that shouldn't kill me with the combination of Toxic, and now our Grassy Terrain is up, so we're mitigating even more damage, uh, which is great, and Horn Leech is still my play every single time. Uh, he can keep going for toxic, uh, toxic Spikes. We'll repeat this process over and over again. We're at almost 30 minutes. My opponent wants to try to stall me out. That's fine. He's actually going to go out into Landorus, uh, which is going to take a lot from Horn Leech. Uh, it's going to give me a lot of recovery back in the process as well. So that's nice. And uh, I can just go Scizor. Like, his Hazard Stacking doesn't work against me because all of his Hazard Stackers don't do anything to Scizor. He's going to go for Stealth Rocks. That's fine. I'm going to go for another Defog. Like, he's not gaining ground right now. And uh, if I keep bringing in Tapu Bulu and keep going for Horn Leech on his Toxapex, he actually brings in Faramosa, okay? I'm not exactly sure why. I am just going to Bullet Punch here because I do want to weaken this thing. That's going to do 80%, which is fantastic. He's going to go for Quiver Dance. <laughs> oh, amazing. All right, so that's going to be a two-hit KO, obviously. Uh, he can go into Landorus, that's fine. Um, he is Rocky Helmet. How have I not seen it before? Does Horn Leech not make... Okay, maybe I just wasn't noticing it because I was skipping turns. Um, but I am just going to go for another Bullet Punch here. Uh, because he's Rocky Helmet, so he'll get worn down quickly. He's going to go for U-Turns, so he leaves his Landorus super low, which is great. Uh, and... 
Like I said, guys, I can still pull this out. There's a way, but it requires me stalling Toxapex out of all of its recovers and then going for two Draco Meteors with Kingdra. He's going to bring in Rotom. Uh, this is not a threat, actually. I'm just going to Roost. He's going to try to trick, but it fails uh, because I'm Mega, so there's that. And now we're going to go for a U-turn because he's pretty much forced to switch out. Uh, if he wants to trick me again, that's fine. Um, I'll just switch back into Scizor after. He's going to go Toxapex. Great. We are going to get out of here and go back into Tapu Bulu. And now I think he's going to go into Landorus. So is there a way that I can take advantage of this? If only Polyrath had something to hit Toxapex with, we would be fine. Um, I really want to double back into Sizz. Yeah, I'm going to go double back into Scizor because he's not going to want to take a hit. He's going to go back into Landorus to try to give me the Rocky Helmet damage, but that's not going to work out for him. Uh, and I am just going to go for a U-turn here, guys. Because like I said, uh, I have to find a way to stall the Toxapex out of its recovers. Um... I'm going to go back into Tapu Bulu now, and the second I click an attacking move, I'm dead, so there's that. Um, yeah, because I don't gain enough recovery back from his uh, from his Landorus to mitigate the uh, damage from the Rocky Helmet. So I got to keep doubling, I think, is always my play. Yeah, I got to keep going back into Scizor, as he's going to Skull this time. Okay, so he would okay, he burns me, of course. Of course he burns me, um, which is a little bit annoying. I still kill Feromosa, so it's not a big deal, but it's just, it's a, it's a little bit annoying. Um, I'm going to go for the U-turn here. And he still hasn't re revealed his last move, and I don't know what it is, uh, but I'm going to go out into Kingdra now, because we do have the grassy terrain up. He's going to go for another Scald, so that's fine. We're able to take that. And I think he's going to go for Recover right here, so let's go into Tapu Bulu on his recover as that is what he clicks fantastic and I'm gonna double back into Scizor again because I do not want his Landorus coming in and killing my Tapu Bulu this is gonna be a long video for this last stupid battle it's ugh, it's ridiculous as he is gonna go out into Landorus yep there it is and uh, honestly what can Toxapex even do to me it just sits there and scalds and does no damage I'm just going to bullet punch here and knock... Okay. Of course, I failed to knock out his Landorus by 1 HP. Um, and I'm just going to go for the... Honestly, you know what? I'm going to go for another bullet punch. Because if I can get rid of this thing and then get rid of rocks, then I should be fine. He's going to let me kill his Landorus. That's fantastic. Uh, with the grassy terrain up, it's it's getting rid of the burn. We're slowly wearing down the team, guys. Trust me. We, we, we are going to do this. I, I, I know there's a way. Because I would have given up a long time ago if there was no way to win this game. But there is a way to win this game. And it's to get Toxapex to waste all of its recovers. Or hit it extremely hard so that it can no longer take on uh, Kingdra. Get him to switch out. Uh, like, leave him at 10%. Get him to switch out. Go into Polyrath. Set up a Belly Drum and win. Like, that is my alternative to winning this game. So, nothing on his team kills me right now. Uh, I kill Faramosa with bullet punches. We saw before it did 80%, so now it'll do uh, 40 because of the burn. So, and I can roost up on anything else. I officially got rid of his rocks, so no, no more rocks to deal with. There's only one hazard left, which is Toxic Spikes. But at this point, the only thing that Toxic Spikes affects is Polyrath. And like I said before, I'm pretty sure Polyrath takes a Volt Switch from Rotom. It might even take two under Grassy Terrain. Let's check it out. Uh, Polyrath. Um, special attacker, I guess. I don't have max HP. Uh, I don't have any HP investment. Um, and let's see. Rotom. Rotom Wash. Uh, physically defensive pivot. Make it max special attack. Volt Switch does 67 to 80. So I knew it wouldn't kill, but it does too much uh, that I will only get one kill. He's going to go out into Feromosa, actually. I'm going to go for the Bullet Punch as he switches out into Toxpex, which is fine because, again, this thing does nothing to me, and I'm sure he has Haze. I'm just going to go for Roost. I'm going to get all my health back, and he's going to go for Scald, but his Scald is doing 14, so I'm eventually going to run him out of Scalds. I'm going to Defog here, and I'm never going to switch out. I'm just going to sit in here with, with Scizor 
as he wants to set up toxic spikes that's fine he wants to go for scalds that's also fine uh, i'm just going to keep going for roost and he's going to keep going for scald and i'm going to keep going for fog and roost and bullet punch and u-turn eventually but not right now gonna get uh the toxic spikes out of here he's gonna go for them again that's fine uh like burn doesn't do enough damage this gen for it, for me to be worried so i'm gonna keep going for the defog i don't care i'm gonna get rid of this toxic spike no matter what and uh, he does have more tox uh, toxic spikes than i have defogs uh but i am just gonna go for the bullet punch on this turn because again this thing does nothing to me and i have infinite bullet punches and I'm only taking 6% a turn. Except the turns that he chooses to attack me, then he's doing 20. But even that, like, he's not going to do anything. I'm going to keep going for a bullet punch here. Um, he's going to actually switch out into his muck, which is going to take a bullet punch, which is fantastic. Uh, this thing doesn't have any recovery either. And uh, knockoff does nothing to me, so I'm just going to go for roost. As he chooses to go for the knockoff. It, it gets a crit. Yet another little bit of hacks right there. Uh, we are just going to go for the defog again. And... Uh, He's going to go for the knockoff, and I'm going to go for the roost. And we can sit here all day, but, like, if my scissor wasn't uh, burned, we'd be fine. Uh, I'm going to go for bullet punch. We're going to weaken this thing a little bit further. Uh, get it a little bit lower. As he's actually going to double back into his toxic specs now, that's fine. I'm just going to go for a switch out into Tapu Bulu now. Um, maybe not the best idea, though. No, nah, I'm going to go for roost. I can't let him scald my Tapu Bulu. He does scald, yep. And now he's not going to Scald, so I'm going to go out into Bulu. <laughs> this is fun. Uh, let's see what he does. He does go for the Toxic Spikes. Fantastic. As we finally went out into top of Bulu. And now I'm going to click Horn Leech. And uh, Horn Leech pretty much forces the recovers that I was talking about. So uh, that's what I need to happen. He's going to go for Scald. That's not going to do anything. We're going to keep going for Horn Leech because I keep getting recovery. Uh, and we need to predict the turn that he switches out into Muck. So... Because that thing could take a horn leech, no problem. Uh, now that we're choice scarfed and not choice banded. Uh, this is going to do a, a hefty amount and he is going to go for a recover. There's the first recover that I needed gone. Uh, we actually stayed at a good amount of health there. Huh. Am I actually t Hold on a second. Hurt by poison, hurt by poison. Does anybody notice how much I... Did anybody notice how much I recovered there? Because I didn't. I'm going to go for another Horn Leech, just because I, I want to see the toxic damage now. Is it actually toxic? It has to be. Yeah, okay, it is. Alright, so, now I'm going to go out into Scizor, because I have to. He's down to 12 Scalds. So, again, he's not getting anywhere with this. And, as long as Kingdra's alive, I can still Draco everything. So, we're still in a good spot, by the way. Uh, we are going to go for the bullet punch here as he is going to go for the scald again beautiful keep going for scald man that's fine we'll go for the roost on this turn uh, as long as i don't have grassy terrain up when he goes into muck we're fine he's gonna go for another scald yo waste all your moves please please be my guest just waste them all this is the longest last battle of of, of life He's gonna go for toxic spikes, that's fine. I can just keep going for bullet punch. It hits everything, it hits the pheromos, it hits the muck, so... If he wants to keep going for skull and waste them all, be my guest. Um, we're gonna go for a another bullet punch here. As he's going to go for another scald. We're going to roost on this turn. He's got seven scalds left, guys. Seven scalds and eleven recovers. And the second that he can no longer scald my Tapu Bulu, this game ends. It's over. It's over because he cannot switch into Tapu Bulu. And if I keep Bulu alive, I can still kill the Rotom. And nothing switches into Tapu Bulu. That's the good part. He's going to go out into Rotom here. Uh, and I'm actually just going to click Roost again. Because um, he has to hit all his Hydro Pumps, right? Anyway, so. Uh, if he wants to go for Volt Switch, that's cool too. But he is going to go for Hydro. As we are going to go for the Roost. And I'm going to keep Roosting until he misses. And then we'll go for the U-Turn. And we'll go out into Kingdra. As he hits another Hydro Pump, that's fine. Uh, we're going to go for another Roost. I just need him to miss one. Just one. That way I don't need to Roost up. He's going to go back into Toxapex, that's fine. Whatever. Uh, Defog again. Get rid of this Toxic Spike. And I'll Defog again on the next turn if he sets up another one. Uh, he's going to go for the Scald. Uh, I'm assuming another Scald is coming. However, I don't think I... How much was I taking before? 14%? No. Wrong Pokemon. 
Not really something that I want to risk. I'm going to go for a bullet punch. As he goes for another Scald. Good. Keep wasting him. You're down to five. Uh, we are just going to go for a U-turn here. And now I'm going to go out into Tapu Bulu. Hopefully he doesn't Scald. As he goes for... Haze. Awesome. Not sure why Haze, but he finally reveals Haze. So that's great. Um, and now, once again, we Horn Leech. We just keep going for Horn Leech. Because I'll waste this thing's recovers in the process, and I'll never die. So, I only have 10 Horn Leeches left, though. Keep that in mind, guys. Why does this thing have 23 Wood Hammers, but only 10 Horn Leeches? That's what I don't understand. <clears throat> um, but we should be fine. We should be fine. I'm gonna win this Stall War. I, I, I guarantee I'm going to win this Stall War. I, I hate that you guys have to watch this, especially on what's supposed to be, like, a chill, laid-back episode. You're not gonna take this well, bro. Yeah. And you give me more recovery than anything. That's beautiful. Alright, give me some more. <laughs> give me some more. As he goes for Shadow Sneak, that's fine. I should still live, uh, the Toxic. At this point, it should leave me at 11. No, more. 15. Beautiful. Alright, good. We're still good. We knocked out the Muck. One less thing I have to worry about. He can't go into Rotom. He can go into Feromosa, but he cannot go into Rotom. Ever. And Feromosa is a Quiver Dance set. So, unless it clicks Quiver Dance, I'm not worried. Grassy Terrain might take it. No, with two more turns, it won't take it out of Bullet Punch range. So, I'm fine. He's probably going to go for the Focus Blast here. I kind of want to predict that and go on into Polyrath. Um, I still need Kingdra. Kingdra still does a lot of work with uh, Draco Meteor, uh, especially that he is no longer scarfed with Rotom. Uh, I think Polyrath is actually the most expendable member at this point, so I'm going to go directly into it. Bulu is still important. Uh, kills Rotom. He's going to go for Z All Out Pummeling and kill me. Okay, that's fine. I don't care. Uh, I was sacking it off anyway. We're going to go into Scizor. We're going to click Bullet Punch. Uh, actually... Huh. I'm gonna click U-turn. Yeah, because he had to go Toxapex there, no matter what. The problem is my grassy terrain is no longer up. I probably shouldn't have done that. I should have waited an extra turn. Um. All right, I'm gonna go for the horn. Uh, no, because my horn leech is weakened now. I'm gonna go into Scizor. Back into Scizor, we have to go. He's gonna go for Scald. Awesome. He's gonna get a crit. I don't care. Uh, we're going for Roost. And on the turn that I think he's going to switch into Rotom, I'm going to go into Kingdra. Uh, if I lose this game after all of this, after 77 turns right now... And I wanted to get to bed, man. It is late. It is late. We're going we're gonna to pull it off, guys. I swear to you, we're going to pull it off. Even after losing Pelipper turn 1. Okay, he's going to go out into Rotom, that's fine. I just need him to miss a Hydra. Miss a Hydra, bro. Just one. Just one. Nope. Still not missing. Alright. Uh, how much did that do? 37.9. Huh. I'm going for U-turn. On the turn, he misses Hydra. Yes! Amazing. Yo, that worked out perfectly. Alright. Let's go for the Horn Leech. His Toxapex is not going to appreciate switching into this now. So that's nice. Uh, Feromosa doesn't switch in. Um, and we weakened his Rotom too. We put it, I, th I think we put it in Draco range. He's going to let his Rotom drop. And he's going to give me all that health back. Wow. Yo, that is huge for me. He's going to go out into Feromosa and he's probably going to click Bug Buzz. So I don't even care. I'm just going to Scizor. Yo, we are bringing this back right now. There's the Ice Beam. That did nothing. And I am definitely always clicking Bullet Punch on you. I don't even care. I am not allowing you to live. He's going to go out into Tox. That's fine. How many Scalds left? Four? Cool. So eventually you won't be able to touch Bulu. Um, let's go for the Roost. We are still healthy. He goes for the Haze. That's fine. We are going to go for the Bullet Punch because I have so many of them. And uh, he's going to go for the Haze again. I'm going to go for Bullet Punch again, because I expect Toxic Spikes at some point to come out. And I don't want to give his Feromosa a free switch either. He's going to keep going for Haze. Uh, but now I'm going to U-turn. 
Now I'm going to U-turn into Tapu Bulu. And let's see what he does. He goes for the Haze again. Awesome. And now we're going to click Horn Leech again. And again, Horn Leech just forces him to waste his recovers. So we're going to gain a lot of health back there. He's going to go for the recover. Awesome. Uh, let's go for another Horn Leech. As soon as I waste all these recovers, like, he's done. This game is over. I should be able to stall this out. Let's see. He goes for another recover. Fantastic. Let's go out into Scizor now. On hopefully another recover. He has a lot of hazes. That's that's really all he has. He, has, he just has a lot of hazes. Goes for a recover. It's not going to do anything, obviously. He's probably just going to go for haze, so I'm going to go for a U-turn. If he goes for Scald, he's going to hit my Kingdra. Uh, actually, I'm just going to go back into... Nope, I'm going into Kingdra this time. Uh, why? Because the Grassy Terrain, I believe, is still up for one more turn. Hopefully. It is. Okay, cool. Uh, this is normal poison, by the way, guys. So this is actually worse <laughs> for me. Uh, I'm going to go out into Bulu again. As he goes for a Scald on that turn. Risking the Draco Meteor. Okay. Uh, and now... Now what I'm going to do is... I think I just keep Horn Leeching, right? Or I go into Kingdra. One or the other. He wasted another Scald, so he's down to three. So, let's... I'm just gonna go for the Leech again, honestly. It does a lot of damage. It gets me healthier, so... That's good. He has to waste a Recover here. He has to go for it. So, I'm gonna go into Scizor. He's down to eight Recovers, three Scalds. If we actually pull this out... Uh, I'll be really, really happy. Uh, I'm going to go for the bullet punch here, because I don't lose anything. Uh, he has 41 hazes. That's all i got to watch out for is haze. Just repeated hazes. We got Bulu healthy enough. I can't believe we kept Bulu uh, alive that long. But yeah, this is actually stupid. Like, this... <laughs> my opponent, I, I won't say exactly what he said. You guys will read it in the... Uh, <laughs> right down here. But yeah, this is actually really stupid, what's going on right now. Uh, I'm going to go for the U-turn. We're going to go out into Bulu. No reason not to. We still have uh, Grassy Terrain for one more turn. And then I'm going to double back into Scizor. And actually, what I can do, guys, is I can keep doubling back and forth between Scizor and Bulu. Just keep doubling back and forth, because Bulu's toxic anyway. What do I care? And Bulu's giving recovery to Scizor without it having to waste its roosts. So, like, I re and he has to attack me at some point. He has to. I'm going to go for the switch out into Bulu again. Yeah. That's fine. As he doubles out into Faramosa. Great play. Honestly, great play. Uh, but you have Ice Beam, right? I don't think he's going to Ice Beam. I don't think he's going to Ice Beam. I think he's going to go for the Focus Blast. To try to catch my Scizor. So I'm going to go for Horn Leech. Let's see what he does. He's special. This might actually kill me. If he does decide to Ice Beam. But uh, he might be max special attack as well. That could be a thing. But I am going to leech. I have to. I have to. Because either way, the only thing killing Toxapex right now is either Woodhammer from this. Uh, like a couple of them. He does choose to Ice Beam, so great play on my opponent's part. Uh, I do now have to crit him with Scizor to win. Um, if I do, though, I think I do win. He's not going to risk it, though. He's going to go into Toxapex. Uh, I'm just going to go for the Defog. So that was really annoying um, that he actually went for Ice Beam because I could have just switched right back to Scizor uh, and I would have been fine, but anyway. Um, I didn't expect him to switch out into Faramosa on that turn. That was a curious play. He's going to go for uh, Scald. That's fine. We are just going to uh, Bullet Punch again. Does he Scald again? Uh, no, he goes for Haze. Okay. What did he just get rid of? He got rid of something. Um, I think U-Turn into Kingdra is the play, and then just go for the Draco Meteor. Uh, I have to go for it. And I have to crit it, I think. Uh, how much am I at? 12.7? Okay, so maybe not. Let's see. Oh my god! <laughs> what? No way. That did not just happen. I'm burnt, though, with Scizor. The question is, can I take a plus one Focus Blast? And I don't think I can. Does he risk missing here? I think he risks missing, because it catches the Scizor. 
No, no, he doesn't risk missing. Okay, okay. All right. Uh, well, Sizzler, uh, if, if ever there was a time for you to crit, it's going to be right now. And you do not. And he goes for a Focus Blast, connects, and that is going to be GG, man. Wow. That's insane. We crit the Draco when we needed to, but it still wasn't enough. We're at 50 minutes. <laughs> that game was like, it's 106 turns, 30 minutes long, easily. Because, yeah, we were at 17 minutes when we got this game. It's 33 minutes long, guys. If you stuck around for that, I'm just going to say it, for that shit show, <laughs> thank you so much. Honestly, you guys are amazing. I love you so much. Um, everybody, thank you so much for, for watching that. Um, I know it was probably painful for everybody, but yeah, that's, uh, that's gonna wrap up the live. Uh, I just want to, uh, to thank you again, guys again. Make sure to leave a like down below, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will catch you guys later.